you can stay. That is the schedule. It's Sweet. Neil, you guys. Jared is Jared. Oh, oh, yeah, Jared. Yeah, good Jared. Jared. Yes. You can you can have a seat. That's a beautiful chair. <laughs> In a tux. Oh, that's a good idea. There's no light in there, but this is what they do with fashion: is they put you in the, the shower. Uh, that's uh, not the first time I've been in a shower the for Amanda Palmer. I was also in a tuxedo then. What do you want to know. expose? I think you don't have to put it like that, Jared. <laughs> I request that Jared tell the incredible story of living on a boat. How does that happen to one? My family um, made some friends that were uh, really into sailing and then they heard about people living on boats and they decided that that was something that they wanted to do. I'm on a boat, motherfucker! What were, they, yeah. what were they doing before they went on the boat? My dad was in a crazy uh, experimental band. Their own synthesizers built into old-fashioned scuba masks no. and they would play the synthesizers with their tongues. They would dress up in loincloths and try to summon the <laughs> essence of Conan. Our, our, mother, I mean, our I, band is so disappointing. I, I know. Like, everything all I do, we're doing is putting on some fucking eyeliner and playing Everything guitars. I do is disappointing. <laughs> no matter how weird I try to get, I'll never be as weird as my dad. So they uh, <laughs> bought a boat and we moved on when I was how, maybe how old four, years, four years old, I think. Mean. I lived on the boat from four until like nineteen or something. Holy so shit! So my whole life, basically. Holy Size of the shit. boat? Thirty-seven feet. Four people. Four what? people. What? I was the shorty too. I mean, my mom's the shorty, I guess. The shorty. Yeah, my dad's six seven, and my brother is six five and a half, and I'm six five, I think. Fuck. There's one spot in the boat that we could all stand up in and every once in a while we'd all stand up and we'd be like face to face and just be like what's up <laughs> doesn't this feel like, good <laughs> it was literally this this big of a space you know so we just stand up so That's can amazing. i can i uh can i ask a question yes how does living on a boat that size prepare you for yes. or make you more or less comfortable living on a tour bus and living out of dressing rooms and bathrooms <laughs> The tour bus is very similar. It's kind of refreshing being on the on the bus. It's uh, a beautiful thing when when uh, everyone becomes kind of one organism, and you know. No, your mentality changes. Yeah. Especially after a couple of weeks of living on a tour bus. Yeah. You, you kind of there's also like the privacy issues of like. Yeah. You learn how to be alone around people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do I'm you guys really mean? <laughs> I'm really vegan now. I don't. I don't uh, go fishing anymore. Dad, but my dad and I used to go fishing. We would never speak a word to each other. Maybe give a glance to each other, and he would know. Okay, it's time to speed the boat up a little bit. Is there a vegan equivalent of fishing? <laughs> really? I can't even get into farming or gardening or like flower, like flowers. <laughs> I, I get her uh, uh, vegetable bouquets every once in a while. Oh. Okay. Up and just like a when yeah. I was on the other side of this and was a super Robin Hitchcock fan, yeah. I went to a show of his and I showed up super early. And I spent all day going around town and putting together a, a vegetable bouquet with a big ribbon around it because oh he's super into vegetables. And then I like found him after the show and it's like, my name is. You think I'm an idiot? It's moments like those that prepare me. I know what it means to you. I was there. I was That's amazing. The door. Yeah. How has it been playing with all these different string people every night? It's been really, really awesome. Like, I wasn't raised around classical music at all. Even though I'm making uh, orchestral music, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Just, uh, yeah, it's been really a positive experience. Yeah, it's been really. A, I'm gonna go introduce Neil. Another thing is is getting the chance to to hear things that differently every night and write things differently. Yeah. A lot of times, it's, it's really cool. Can I? Oh, oh! Will you? Will you flush? Yeah, yeah, yeah! I'm ready. I'm so ready. I think I'm ready. Now, wait! Now you're ready. Oh my God! It's such a ritual. 